Hello, my beautiful friends, and thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to have you. I appreciate you more than you know. You've come to Your Journey Yoga, and I am Cheryl, and we are going to just get an invigorating, great way um, to either up your energy, start the day, um, or just kind of give you that little boost that you need regardless of the time of the day. So um, inviting you to join me on your mat and um, with a smile on your face, hopefully, uh, if it's not there already, hopefully it'll be there by the end. Um, so just a fairly short practice, but something that'll really help just getting the energy flowing and getting your blood flowing and getting the mind in a really good spot. Those are my goals. So to start, my friends, let's open up those legs just a little bit. It doesn't have to be super, super wide. And I just want you to kind of shift, transitioning weight from hip to hip. And I want you to notice, are you carrying any tension in that lower back? Are you carrying any tension in the hips? Do we need to soften those knees? So we don't ever want to lock out those knees and we come back to center. Just a big breath in reach. And as you exhale, exhale, squeeze those shoulder blades, open the chest, draw those elbows back and away, cactus arms inhale reach and exhale pull this time we're gonna add those legs inhale reach and exhale pull sink low into those legs inhale reach if you need to widen your stance widen your stance exhale pull and inhale reach let's do that one more time exhale and pull Bring the hands to the insides of your knees. And we're going to press that right knee out and away as you rotate and take your gaze out over that left shoulder. Let's inhale it back to center. Other side, press that left knee out and away as you gaze over that right shoulder. Inhale it back to center one more time each side. Exhale, press it away. Inhale it back to center. Exhale and press it away. It feels so good. Inhaling it back to center and rise reach to the sky pull the hands to heart center and let's sink into those legs and we're just going to do little tiny pulses here so nothing huge just waking up the body getting that blood flowing starting to build a little bit of heat one more time sink low and rise Open those arms out to a T let's shift those right toes towards the top of your mat left toes comes to about a 45 degree bend and we sink into a warrior two. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little, adjust your stance as you need to and exhale, sink. Inhale, rise and exhale, sink. Stay low, rotate your palms to the sky. We take that back arm up and over, tapping the fingertips and then up and back. Take it up and over, tap the fingertips to the palm, up and back. One more time, take it up and over, and up and back, back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back, reverse warrior, lengthening and reaching down that back leg, lengthening and reaching towards that back wall with that top arm, we turn our gaze towards our back heel with a little tuck of your chin towards your collarbone, inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit, reach, 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 and then gently sink and inhale it back up to warrior two straightening your front leg opening hips chest and shoulders to the side reach it out over those toes and release that arm other arm extends to the sky reach it up feel that extension feel that length that stretch through the ribs and the waist let's turn our gaze down towards the big toe rotating that top palm towards the front reach it up and over long stretch all the way down the side of the body breathe slow and steady inhale lift that top arm back towards the sky and ever so slowly rise core strong breathe we rotate toes and rotate toes and sink into that lunge so we come into our warrior two on the other side find that breath inhale straighten that front leg and exhale sink feel the power and the strength in your legs inhale straighten exhale and sink let's do that again inhale straighten and exhale stink stink sink Rotate palms to the sky. Take a big breath in. Reach that back arm up and over. Tap your fingertips to the palm and take it up and back. 
So we're deep in that lunge. Core is strong and we're moving that back arm up and over, promoting mobility through the shoulder. Focus and strength. Circling that arm back, back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back. Reverse warrior, lengthening and reaching through the fingertips. Just making this as big as your body is ready for it to be. Taking your gaze towards your back heel if you like. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. Reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, sink. Find that breath. And let's inhale it back up to warrior two. Straightening your front leg, opening hips, chest, and shoulders to the side. Reach it out over those toes. Reach, reach, reach. Oh, and you can't reach anymore. Arm comes down. Top arm reaches high. Lengthen and extend out of the shoulder. Triangle. Breathe. Turning your gaze down towards your big toe, rotating that top palm towards the front, reach it up and over, long, beautiful stretch all the way down the side of your body. Inhale, lifting that top arm back to the sky, core strong, we rise all the way back up. Palms towards the floor. Let's rotate both toes inward. Now, if you need to shorten your stance, you can heel toe those feet in a little bit. Hinge it forward. Releasing your hands, relaxing the weight of the upper body down. So those toes are slightly turned inward, creating a little bit of a pigeon toed stance with our feet and offering this beautiful stretch through the outsides of the ankles down the backs of the legs and into that lower back. Now let's shift some weight forward into the balls of the feet and we're gonna bring the heels towards one another. So those toes are opening out to about a 45 degree angle. We've narrowed our stance just a bit. And we're just going to gently play with those hips again. Just going side to side. Nothing super fast, guys. So you really want to give yourself an opportunity to feel that stretch and to feel that mobility. So we're never going past kind of a six or a seven, eight at the very max on your intensity scale. But giving yourself that, feet, that full range of motion so that you can really feel what that stretch is doing for the body. One more time, let's take it to this side and come back to center. Taking a hold of the ankles if that feels okay to you, using the strength of the arms to pull that upper body inward, deepening that stretch. Now, inevitably, kind of weight shifts back into your heels to lessen that intensity. If you want a little bit more, shift some weight forward into your toes. Inhale, releasing those arms, core strong. We rise and we're going to walk our hands out towards that right foot. And we're going to rotate around and bend that right knee, coming into a runner's lunge. Breathe, bringing that back knee to the mat, top of the foot to the mat. Bringing both hands to the inside of the foot. Find your breath. Coming down onto your uh, left forearm if you like. Right forearm if that feels okay. Slow, steady breath. And we come back up to the palms of the hands, bringing the hands to the top of that right thigh. We lift the chest, leaning in, extending left arm out, lift it high, arch it back. A little or a lot. Beautiful stretch down the front of that left leg. Inhale, we rise, pulling the hands to heart center. We rotate and place that left elbow to the right knee, pressing against the knee and working to bring your hands towards heart center. Weight is still forward through those hips. Rotation through the spine. How's your breath? 
we come back to face front. Extend those arms overhead. Big circle of the arms to the back. Release your hands on either side of your foot. Tuck your toes. Lift that back knee and we're going to walk our hands to center. And all the way around as you shift onto those toes to the other leg. So now we're on that left side. Breathe, core is strong. Pressing through that back heel. Just slow, steady breath. Let's bring that back knee to the mat, top of the foot to the mat. And we bring both hands to the inside of the foot, working our way down to lizard pose. Keeping that core strong, always supporting the back, coming down onto your right forearm if you like. Left forearm if you like. Allowing that head to be heavy. Embracing that stretch through the groin, through the hip, through the hip flexors into that lower back. Again, always finding that intensity scale, guys, and keeping it below an eight. Making sure that you can check in with your breath, that your breath is still slow and steady. And let's come back up to the palms of the hands. And we transition those hands to the tops of the thigh. And lean in. Breathe. Extending, right arm out, lift it high, arch it back. Gazing to the sky, pressing those hips forward. Beautiful long stretch all the way down the front of that right leg. Through the belly, through the ribs, we inhale and we rise, pulling those hands to heart center. We rotate, placing that right elbow to the left knee and working to press those hands back towards heart center. Find your breath. Slow it down. So just checking in. Just checking in. What's going on with the body today? How about that breath? We turn back to face front, extending those arms overhead, big circle of those arms to the back. Release your hands on either side of your foot. Tuck those toes, lift that back knee, and let's slowly walk those hands back through to center. Toes are turned out to the outside corners of your mat and ever so slowly release the weight of your upper body down. Just breathe. Inhale, lift just slightly and let's heel toe those feet in twice. Now you might know that you need to adjust the width of your stance, no worries. Adjust however you need to. We have that length in the spine, we have that length in the arms, we've got that strength in the belly and we're gonna slowly lower our bottoms down. All the way down. Lifting the chest, pulling the hands to heart center. Now if you need to adjust, adjust. Elbows along the insides of your knees. Spine nice and tall, drawing that pelvis through garland pose. And a gentle press of those wrists towards the mat to create a nice straight line across the forearms. Breathe, releasing that left hand to the inside of your foot or taking a hold of the ankle if you like. We rotate and we look up to the sky as we reach through those right fingertips. I want you to kind of lean into that left leg and feel that extension all the way up through the tips of the fingers. And gently release it down. Right hand to the inside of the right foot. Rotate, look up, reach up as high as you can reach. Kind of lean into that right leg a little bit. Find that breath. And gently pull it back to heart center, back to garland. Breathe, drawing that pelvis through, lifting the chest, crown of the head to the sky, release your hands and slowly extend those legs, releasing the weight of the upper body down. Mm, just relax best you can. And we're going to heel toe those feet in to hip width apart. Shift your weight to your heels and then to your toes, into your heels, and again those toes. And center your weight, core is strong, and slowly lower your bottom 
bending those knees, coming low, low as feels right to you, safely coming down onto your bottom. Awesome. Crisscross those legs. Sit up nice and tall. Release your hands down by your sides. Really feel that length in your spine and that pressing of the palms to the mat. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, release the chin towards the chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And as you exhale, lean that right ear towards your right shoulder. All the while pressing that left palm towards the mat. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And as you exhale, lean that head to the left. Left ear over that left shoulder. Pressing that right palm towards the mat. Just feel that openness of the ear canal. A beautiful stretch down that right side of the neck. Inhale, head back to center. Bring your hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers. And as you exhale, gently pull the chin towards the chest as the elbows close around the ears. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Open those elbows wide. Let's pull the hands to the tops of the knees, opening the palms to the sky. Close your eyes, a gentle touch of your index finger to your thumb. If you prefer, you can just gently cup your hands in your lap. And we're just going to take a moment to breathe. To set an intention for today. As we set our intentions for the day, these help guide us. Kind of bringing us back to balance. If ever we get off course, where things start to take us to a place where we don't particularly want to go, those intentions will bring us back. Intentions are a gift. They're a great gift. So what is your intention for today? Be true to yourself. No one's here to judge. This is your journey. As you set your intention, let it manifest through your breath. Remind yourself as often as you need to today of your intention and are you being true to it? Let your breath quiet as you focus on this intention. Feeling strong, feeling healthy, feeling aware. Breath slow and steady. Mind and body are calm and grateful. Let's gently pull the hands to heart center. A gentle touch of the palms. an awareness of the energy of the earth below us and around us. Let's gently open the eyes. A smile on your face if you can. I hope you guys feel amazing. I hope you have the best day. I appreciate you more than you could ever know. Uh, Anytime, feel free to leave me comments. Let me know how it went, how you feel, what I can do for you in the future. Um, Just, I appreciate you. So thank you, thank you. Light and love to each and every one of you each and every day. Whether we are together or not, I always send it out to you. Be well, my friends. And until the next time, namaste.